well, it's going to be a long, hot summer. And though that may not sound like quite a bummer, I assure you that the numbers indicate that it ain't great for those things to heat up this way. What should have only taken place at the dawn of each millennium is now about to happen every 20 years at minimum. Sprinkle it with cinnamon is still a bit of wind to spin and to a gentle breeze a symptom of our grand disease. Kind of hard to be at ease when we can't even see the trees from underneath the seas. Smoke fills the sky, passing all the houses by while the helicopters fly by and we try just not to die. Well, hot damn, Pakistan is hotter than a clam, man. Up to 128, I don't understand, man. Do you have a plan, man? Can you make a stand, man? Can I get a hand, man? Or is you in the sand, man? Moscow burning up like a center from the summer to the winter. Clouds of fire enshroud the higher power's domain and it's ours to blame. For in this hour of pain, we are sour and lame. And so how are the flames that tower right above our frames? Vegetation frustration, cause of strange precipitation. And it's not just concentrated on a single Christian nation. It's on everybody. Flowing like a work of Van Gogh. It can snow a little bit and still be burning up like unattended onions. This isn't something fun. It's sin when life depends upon our whim and in response, we grin and stroke our chins like we all got it mapped out. And on that, I'll cast doubt. The extreme shifts in scene might seem to mean that we're living unclean, but it's a lot more sinister than that. Matter of fact, I would even say it's something straight out of the bottom drawer of the counter where the flames run wild, oh child. 